Hey guys, it's Jess and I'm back here with another video for you. Today we're doing a really awesome pin tag. This pin tag is called For the Love of Disney. It's super fun and cute. It was created by Becca Disney Kitty and her friend Evie. I'm so excited to do this one and stick around until the end because I'll be tagging a couple of channels myself. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and switch the camera around so that we're facing the pins because I think you'll get a better view of them that way. Our first prompt is fairest of them all. Show a pin depicting your favorite princess. And I picked this pin depicting Belle and Gaston because I absolutely adore Belle and Belle in her blue dress is really, really pretty. And you have Belle and Gaston here. You have her books, which I also love. And you also have her little cottage over here, which I think is adorable. This is a fantasy pin. It is a Disney Chris design, who I will link below for you guys. And it's a Rival Reflections. It's an LE of 100. Our next prompt is Someday Your Prince Will Come In. Show a pin depicting your favorite Disney prince. So this one, I kind of took some liberties on. First of all, I think Mickey is the prince of the Magic Kingdom. He's kind of the mascot and emblem that we all think of for Magic Kingdom. So I went with that as well as this pen is depicting Mickey as Bert from Mary Poppins. And I think Bert is absolutely a prince of a man. I mean, he's supportive. He's funny. He, he will do anything to help out. He's just amazing. And so that's why I picked this pen. It's just an open edition pen. It was a two pen set. And the other pen depicts Minnie as Mary Poppins. And of course you have Mickey here as Bert and he's presenting some flowers to her. It would be right after or right during, I think that penguin scene in the, um, the pictures they jump into. Next we have Kiss the Girl. So of course I had to go with an aerial pin. This is a Disneyland Hong Kong pin. They make some amazing designs. It has a little bit of a pin on pin element here with the boat and it's just absolutely beautiful. You have the night sky twinkling in the background with that glitter element. You have Sebastian and Flounder singing down here, probably Kiss the Girl and it's just beautiful and something about the blue of her eyes and Eric's eyes just really draws you in. So even though this wasn't an actual kiss, it was definitely my pick for it. Share a pen that reminds you of a magical or romantic place. And when I think of especially Main Street on, in Disney World, it's very magical to me and very... I don't know, it's like stepping back into this different time to this place where nothing bad can happen. And one of my favorite things to do at the Magic Kingdom is, well, in not COVID times, is to sit on Main Street and watch all of the performers, especially the Dapper Dance. There's just something amazing about them. And if I'm sitting on Main Street with my husband, and just watching everybody sing and dance and the wonder on everybody's faces as they enter the park, it's just amazing to me. So I ended up picking this booster pack and I've kept it in the packaging just because I love the packaging with the background of the Emporium so much. But you have Pluto, Donald, Mickey, and Goofy all depicting the Dapper Dance. Our next prompt is Remember me. Share a pen that reminds you of someone you love. So I picked this Disney's Wilderness Lodge pen from 2000. It has a bear and I think some cubs there. But I picked this pen specifically because Wilderness Lodge is where I took my honeymoon. And we went back there a couple of years ago for an anniversary trip. It's just 
I don't know. It's a location at Disney that I really associate with my husband. So I thought it would be really cool. Plus it's an older pin. It was just an open edition, but it really has some cool details, especially with those bears being a pin on pin element. Our next prompt is baby of mine. Share a pin of your favorite Disney baby, human or animal or whatever. And I have this pin trader delight depicting Tag Along from Robin Hood. She was the youngest rabbit in the rabbit family. And I just think this is absolutely adorable. So she's got her probably strawberry flavored ice cream and her little rabbit doll. And she's just so cute. She's like the cutest little baby. Our next prompt is you'll be in my heart. So I picked this new, I'm pretty sure it's open edition pin of Minnie Mouse and you have all these little hearts plus it's heart shaped. And I, I don't know, I just really love this design. It's very classy, um, makes me think of like those older, like 1950s movies and that kind of thing, which I absolutely adore. So. Our next prompt is, can you feel the love tonight? Share a pen featuring a nighttime scene or setting. So I ended up picking this pen. It's a magical musical moments pen. It was pen number 16. It's just an open edition pen, but I thought these were really, really fun. I love the fact that Peter moves here and you have Peter and Wendy and Michael and his little teddy bear there and you have these little musical notes all around him and Big Ben which I love love this pen so so amazing our next prompt is you're all the music I need so I picked this pen of Peter playing some reed pipes that I just thought was really fun and musical and kind of different I think this is an open edition pen that's still available in the parks. And our next prompt is laughter is timeless. Share a silly pen. So I went ahead and picked this pen of the Mad Hatter riding a unicycle. And this was a studio store Hollywood pen. I don't remember that much else about it, honestly. I can't remember if it was open edition or limited edition. I don't see an edition size on here. So I know that sometimes they have kind of these open edition pens. He might be one of those, but he's just one of those characters that always makes me giggle. And he's always so silly. He's actually one of my favorite characters to meet in the park because he's so funny. Our next prompt is you're my greatest adventure. Share a pen featuring one of your favorite Disney adventures, attractions, story, characters, etc. So I decided to go with this Crest of the Kingdoms pens from, I think these were last year, and they are just amazing pens. I love the teacups. This is the teacups at Disneyland, of course, but it is just a really, really cool series. And I love this particular pen. I think the amount of detail that they were able to do in these pens was just phenomenal. It is a limited edition. I want to say a 4,000, but let me go. Oh, 2,000. Sorry. Our next prompt is shining, simmering, splendid. Share a pen with glitter. So I picked this. It's a fantasy pen. Um, fairy tale fantasies. I'm not exactly sure on the creator of this, but I do know that there are a series of these, but this outer ring is this beautiful white glitter. And then you have the silhouette of Tinkerbell and the night sky with all of the different items that kind of make you think of Tinkerbell, like the little hammer, the scissors, the thimble. And then you have like a little bug up here and a little magic wand and a little pouch. It's just really, really fun. All right, our next prompt is love is an open door. And so I have this Disney doorways pen depicting Peter Pan. These pens were so awesome. So you have this door element, which is actually, I think the window 
to Wendy's room, and then you have Wendy, John, and Michael flying out of the window after Peter. And then you can close that, and you can actually bring Peter's Jolly Roger kind of over it. And it's just, it's a really unique and fun pin. I would love them to do something similar to this again. These were limited edition pins of 4,000 from, I think it was 2016. And our last prompt is happily ever after. Share a pin and featuring your favorite happily ever after couple. So I chose Robin Hood. As some of you know, my husband actually proposed at the very end of this movie. And so I felt it was very fitting to pick a Robin Hood and Maid Marian pin. This is the pin that came out for Robin Hood, like the book series that they did at the pen trading event. So I've kept it in its box, oops, because I think this is such a cool um, way to display the pen, but it is limited edition but I don't remember how many. So let's take it off its backer and look. That's the one thing I have the hardest time remembering is it is limited edition of 500 and it is absolutely stunning. I love this background green and how adoring Maid Marian is looking at Robin Hood and the fact that you even have um, Little John over here, just very iconic. This was such a fun pen tag. I, I really enjoyed picking out pens for this, even if it was a little hard because I don't have a lot of love, I guess, oriented pens or anything like that. So now I get to tag a couple of channels of my own. First, I'm gonna tag Serena over at Serena's Sparkling Diary. She's a super cute channel. She does a lot of DIYs and things like that. And she also adores her pins just like I do. She's super sweet. I love her to death. And then I'm going to tag Caitlin over at Caitlin Christine. She is an, another awesome channel. Loves her pins too, but is really into Funkos and lounge flies and hauls and things like that. So make sure to go and check her out. And then the last channel I'm going to tag is Christina from Playdates and Travels. She has a lot of hauls, a lot of pins, a lot of fun. So just check all those channels out and look for this tag coming up on their channels. But that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down there. And don't forget to tell me what your favorite pin was. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.